Hello, I'm Daryl Dickinson. This documentary recording one of the most colorful segments of North American history has waited over 500 years to be presented. Nowhere in the universe has a more fascinating set of events wrapped itself around such a beast of burden or colorful critter as the unique Texas Longhorn. Follow me for over 500 years and see the origin, the survival, the preservation, the fine-tuning, and finally the most influential genetics of this magnificent and world-famous animal. The multi-billion dollar American cattle industry was born the minute over a dozen boatloads of trained oxen dived in the water and swam ashore from Christopher Columbus's ships in 1494. The first cattle hooves made tracks on North American soil and a legend was in the making. These ancestors of modern Texas Longhorn cattle drug plows, transported logs for forts and homes, pulled Conestoga wagons across the prairie, and provided milk and finally lean meat for their owners. Millions were multiplied for hundreds of years. Huge trail herds walked themselves thousands of miles to slaughter for a hungry, hard-working nation. This steer was typical of millions that were driven up dusty trails during the late, <clears throat> during the late 1800s. Prior to 1930, six ranch families and the federal government preserved purebred breeding herds of their own unique bloodlines. They were Peeler, Phillips, Yates, Marks, Wright, Wichita Refuge, and Butler herds. In 1964, the Historic Longhorn Association was formed and a registry was started to record true Texas Longhorn breeding cattle. In this photo at Battle Island Ranch owned by J.G. Jack Phillips, one of the largest herds was gathered for inspection with only the purest and most breed correct cattle registered. Old time cattleman Heck Schrader pictured here on foot the official inspector carefully examined every critter before registration. Less than a thousand cattle passed inspection in a 10-year period. By 1980, over 20,000 had multiplied from that foundation group. Many of these early cattle were unimpressive with small horn, slender bodies, and plain basic earth colors. As we research backward to these original 1,000 cattle. Most of these made little or no contribution to the, to the breed itself. They have dropped out of history and no progeny can be found at all in modern herds. Certain cattle were used from the first that started the early herd numbers. Y.O. Sam Houston was the first Texas Longhorn bull registered. Yates 8 was a highly respected Yates bull in the early days. Sam 15 was the most prominent butler bull. WR 2161 and his famous dam WR 1052. Wright 489 with the dam of Doherty 698. The great beauty butler cow was the dam of many of the great siring butler bulls. Miss Lynn added a touch of quality superior in the breed, great confirmation, the whole package. A few not only passed on their famous attributes, but possessed genetic strengths to breed superior offspring beyond and above themselves in quality.